You might be surprised to know that the square root symbol is number 10 on this list. This one lures you in with a false sense of fun. An intense sudden drop, like a playground slide designed by a geometry teacher with a secret thrill-seeking side. The descent is smooth, confident, even elegant, until you remember that corner bit at the end isn't a slide. It's a literal death trap. You slam into it at 10 miles an hour squared and immediately snap both your legs like that one unfortunate pencil that you raged at after failing some simple math homework. Number 9. Plus Sign Unlike the symbol itself, this slide experience is not positive. It is, in fact, a cruel joke. You get up there expecting options, four directions, a choice of paths, maybe a bit of spice. But no, you sit at the top and realise you've got a pure cliff drop in front of you. You sort of wiggle forward half an inch, then decide to take the leap of faith, and it doesn't last long. And yes, you simply end up with pure negative emotions. If the square root was a high-speed accident, then this is the waiting room before the crash. Number 8. Sigma now this one's interesting. At first glance, you might think, oh, a fancy W with academic trauma attached. Rotate it 90 degrees left and it does look like it wants to be a slide. You start on either of the pillars, jump across the adrenaline-inducing gap and finally land on the slope. And you might think you've made it safe and sound, but nope, you quite literally get hit in the face with a wall at the end of it all. It's like a roller coaster built by a committee of physicists who hate children. The kind of slide you exit via stretcher, if you're lucky. Number 7. Delta. Ah, finally, something that respects the craft. The delta symbol is a solid triangle. No nonsense, no sudden ledges, just pure aerodynamic potential. You launch from the peak with grace, gather speed like a ski jumper, and absolutely yeet yourself off the edge. Is there a landing? No, just void. But for those 2.3 seconds, you feel like an Olympian. Triangle-shaped triumph with just a hint of doom. A true slide for thrill-seekers with questionable judgement. Number 6. Micro symbol. This one's deceptive. You start at the top thinking, wow, this curve is luxurious. It's like the slide equivalent of slipping into silk sheets. But halfway down, you realise you're not exiting. You're being cradled into a U-shaped purgatory. You just sit there, trapped, legs dangling, existential dread creeping in. Still, it's a cosy trap. Good for introverts, bad for momentum. Number 5 partial symbol. The partial symbol is basically the rebellious cousin of the number 6. It starts you off with a cheeky inverted drop slide, very gravity defying, like a water slide invented by Dr. Seuss. It then brings you down into a swirl around a tight coil. You'll have enough speed to do a full loop in this thing, maybe even two. Great for style points. Bonus, it actually looks like it wants to be slid on, which is more than we can say for most of these symbols. Number 4. Variable Symbol Now, this is a crossover episode we didn't know we needed. The regular X is bland. It's what you mark on a treasure map or your last test. But this curvy variable version? Chef's kiss. It's got attitude. You can approach it from the top left or top right. Both give you a satisfyingly symmetrical ride. You cross the centre in a glorious glide and exit with the grace of a gymnast dismounting a pommel horse. Not the fastest, but easily the classiest. A slide for people who correct other people's math jokes on Reddit. Number 3. Similar to Symbol Sliding down this is like surfing on mild sarcasm. It's quite literally a little wave, a lazy undulation. No sharp turns, no drama, just a mellow coast down a mathematically ambiguous squiggle. You won't break any records, or bones, but you will feel slightly superior to everyone on the plus sign. It's basically the subtract sign's more artistic friend, a slide for poets, or tired grad students who just want one thing to go right in their day. You could say this one's actually similar to a real slide. Yeah, I'm sorry. Number 2. Brace Symbol Okay, now we're getting serious. Rotate the brace 45 degrees left and suddenly you're on a wild, chaotic carnival ride built out of punctuation. The descent is bumpy. You lurch, you rattle, you question your decisions. Halfway through, there's a trough that catches you like a nervous lifeguard. And just when you think you're safe, you're launched off the edge like a catapulted comma. This is not a slide you walk away from. This is a slide that you write a memoir about while still falling mid-air through the void. Oh yeah, also, wear a helmet. Number 1. Integral Symbol and here it is, the undisputed champion of symbolic sliding. The integral symbol. This thing is a unit, a towering drop that curves like a question mark wondering what it did to deserve this much velocity. You start up high, already fearing for your life. Your speed gets multiplied faster than a caffeinated logarithm. And then bam, you hit the curved ramp at the base. But this isn't a stop. 
Oh no, this ramp launches you into orbit. You go from calculus to chaos in under three seconds. It's not just a slide, it's a rite of passage. A physics-defying miracle that says, you're not solving this, you're surviving it. Barely.